All right, what's going on, people? DJ Sketch, I'm back. We are still back out here playing some Black Ops Three. Still enjoying this game a lot. There has its uh, it's got its frustrating moments, as most of you are playing it actively. Now. But you know, it's really not too bad of a game. But even though it's kind of like sandwiched in between a bunch of what could be considered better games, but also it kind of depends on what you like. I definitely plan on picking up a few more games this coming season. I keep hearing great things about Halo 5, I keep hearing that Fallout 4 is the truth, and also Star Wars Battlefront came out last or yesterday, or yeah, it's Wednesday today, so it came out yesterday, and I noticed on my YouTube feed, like, most people that were posting Call of Duty videos just the week before, all of them are posting Battlefront videos now, which I'm not surprised by, because uh, it's Star Wars Battlefront. The beta was awesome, even though they didn't really have, like, too, too much you could do. Still, just what they had on offer was fantastic in my opinion. And everybody I've talked to so far, they're saying they're loving it. And shit, man, even El Presidor is like talking that game up like it's the fucking second coming of gaming, man. But so, uh, when I mean, he says it's a must buy, and he doesn't really play video games that much anymore, so if he is trying, if he's hyping it up, you know they probably, you know they did something right with EA and Dice. So, good on you, good one. But yeah, this is part of what I wanted to talk about today, is actually the influence of YouTubers, at least like certain YouTubers, like some of the bigger ones and the smaller ones. But like I actually heard some sort of sad news today, watching the Completely Unnecessary podcast with uh, Pat the NES Punk and his homie Ian, that Classic Game Room is actually going to be slowing down, so to speak, and possibly he might just like stop doing the channel altogether, which he stopped before and then made his website a couple years back. But then came back to YouTube about six months after he put the website up. But the website's still running. So if you ever want to check that out, classicgameroom.com. That website's pretty fucking rad. And you can meet some cool people. You can find out about some cool games you might not have ever heard of before. But, uh, it's a bummer, man. Because honestly, I, when I started watching that show, I guess this would have been about four or five years ago now. I, didn't, I can't believe it's already been that long. But that actually was, like, really impacted the purchases I made. Especially like getting all the retro stuff and also kind of gave me like kind of hints on how to look for games and kind of what to look for especially in retro games especially the ones that I hadn't really played before because literally like after watching that show and like like so that in, con in conjunction with the uh, Pat show also and also the angry video game nerd man also it gave you a much bigger outlook on games that you probably missed like back in the day because that's honestly back then it was a lot harder to do and even now, like, it's really easy to overlook games, especially considering how many are coming out, like, all at once. Because, like, just in this month alone, I guess the latter end of October, going to November, fucking four blockbusters dropped back to back to back, really. Like, the only one that came out on a Friday was Call of Duty, which is usually strange. It's usually always a Tuesday. That's why I was kind of surprised when this came out on a Friday. But that's, not, that's besides the point, though. Like... Pretty much like there, like there's people that really have a, a really good opinion, like an honest opinion. Like they won't fabricate shit for you. It's like I know that you have your T Martins and your Drifters and those types of dudes or whatever who are like on Activision's fucking nuts, and they'll say this game is great even though it could be a festering pile of shit, which the last two games were. I'm not even gonna lie. And you, then you have dudes like Mark, and you have dudes like Pat Contry, and you have pretty much like the Retro Liberty dudes. You have like an entire slew of people that actually give you like a very honest opinion on games and they'll tell you like exactly what they did and didn't like about it with no frills included, you know. And that's really like, it's kind of sad to see like, you know, I, 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 I kind of get it. Like he's, he's been doing the show for a while. I guess he even was like, uh, uh, from what I've been hearing and also even digging up some older YouTube videos, he was doing the show like back in like almost in the 90s or like really early 2000s. Like, VHS style, kind of like the anti-gravity room that was on Sci-Fi Channel way back in the day. So you know, like I know he's he maybe he's tired of it, or maybe he just has other things that kind of taking priority. But either way, like I'm definitely looking forward to seeing like the next few classic game rooms. That the even CGR Undertow with like Derek show, like I really haven't been seeing as much of that on YouTube either. So you know, it's kind of a bummer. It was one of my favorite channels, but also. It leads into something else, too, because also another thing, like, on the other side of the spectrum, there's also cats who use their channels. This could be possibly, like, medium to bigger YouTubers just to clickbait people. It's like, come on, man. Like, with this whole thing with the, the Paris tragedy, 
there never should be a reason to clickbait viewers into clicking on your video just so you can like kind of scam people out of views like that's fucked up you know I guess White Boy 7th Street did this once with uh, a, a similar to other uh, tsunami disasters and people got on him pretty badly about that he's like do you need to take that shit down Machinima took all the ads off of that when he did that and then he eventually just took it down it's like oh well fuck I guess I can't really milk that how I wanted to and there's people doing it now in the Grand Theft Auto 5 community that are clickbaiting people into checking out their videos just because they put in the title they mention the Paris attacks and that's wrong <laughs> that's like completely the wrong way to use this platform and honestly in a way like that's kind of sickening honestly it's like you really should know better than to clickbait people especially people that actually trust you and trust your opinion to just look at your video just so you can basically fool them into watching something that has nothing to do with what you just put in the title that's not cool it really isn't and yet yeah, i don't want to go i want to bang on too much about that but still you know it's it really makes a huge difference to people and also it really does impact decisions and outlooks based on what your opinion is which is it's cool like it's good to, it's good to see people actually pay attention on youtube and the people that subscribe to your channels actually they really care about what you have to say but at the same time you really can't mislead these people like don't just feed them a line of bullshit and then expect them to just pretty much go out and then just regurgitate the bullshit you just spoon fed them you know that that that's not cool man like that's really not and i'm hoping that these youtubers or pretty much anybody who's trying to use this use tragedy as a means to get more traffic on their channel i hope they wise up and stop doing that because that's really not okay <laughs> look at me getting all serious like i guess you guys i bet you, i bet you didn't expect that did you <laughs> but yeah but even still like aside from all that it's almost uh it's like the middle almost into november it's a great time to be a gamer there's a lot of stuff to play also there's almost too much to play i'm gonna be picking up fallout 4 in a few more days and actually found a bunch of cool shit i actually found a new retro store today which oddly enough is owned by books a million never saw that coming a buddy of mine took me to that the spot after school we're like oh shit there's a little bit of everything in here it was like comics and records and everything and that was interesting but also I'll be picking up Fallout, picking up Halo, and actually after seeing so many glaringly good reviews about Battlefront post-beta, I'll definitely be checking that out, probably before the movie comes out, and also seeing it's episode 7 on, probably not opening night, but maybe around Christmas time, so I'll definitely see it this year. And also, if you guys like ever see me online, if you have the games so you want to get down and party up, I'm always down to run it with you, so... Thanks again for checking out the vid, people. I know we're all over the place with it today, but this had to get just wanted to get that out there, and hopefully people will get it together. And also, man, Mark, if you, I know you might not see this, but if you do, man, keep the show going because I love classic game room. That show fucking rules. All right, guys, take it easy. Sketch. I'm out.